What's up guys? In this video, we're going to discuss how it feels like 2019 again in BSV. So for those who were around back then, there were lots of different apps and interesting things coming out seemingly every day. This is, I believe, early 2019 when we had this whole proof of work ethos. And we're starting to see that now, uh, despite the price. Again, with my previous video talking about it doesn't make sense. Um, but I saw a comment made in another iteration on BitChat by Luke from Tonic Pal, where he made a kind of a Discord clone. And that really resonated with people I saw based off the feedback I was seeing in the chat rooms. And, you know, there's a bunch of different chat rooms you guys can check out. I'll link to it in the description. But um, Degan, who had built Baymail back then, which was another one of these apps that was being used and just coming out just randomly, he said he made that comment and I thought, yes, that is so true. I mean, it, but I feel like now it's much better. Uh, it's much there's more stuff and to the point where it's very difficult to keep up and keep track of what's going on in the space. And again, man, it's still rubbing up on all this negativity and the price just, you know, looking like frankly, looking like it's going to fall off a cliff. Uh, with that said, I do recall back in the first half of 2019 where you had basically had this lull from the fork of November 2018 to about April, May of 2019. And it just felt like, man, the price is just going to be at $50 forever. And then I woke up one morning, it was 110 bucks. And, you know, of course, with this greater bear market recession that we're in, you know, we, we would think that that's unlikely. But that's how this, I mean, if that's the viewpoint, right? I mean, the reason a lot of us are here is because of the potential of decoupled growth. So, you know, I, I, of course, I have no idea what's going to happen. I'm just saying, I'm just bringing up the point that you have all this activity that, and you have a lot of demand. Um, I just saw um, a random guy. He started a YouTube channel. He started talking about some of this stuff. I haven't watched this stuff yet, but it seems to, that seems to be picking up in the community and people are kind of, uh, engaging with him and, you know, really talking about how he thought independently to come to these different conclusions. And, you know, that's happening more and more. Part of that's through the trial. Part of it's through this just the straight up potential and usage of it. And, you know, I'll link to his video in the description as well. But, you know, as that builds over time, you know, people, I mean, it, again, it's getting to the point where this stuff starts to show and not tell, right? Before, we were always all the, the Bible thumpers, the white paper thumpers, Craig, CSW, Satoshi, micropayment scale. This is the only one that scales. We do 60, what was it at the time? 256 megabyte blocks. <laughs> you know, it's just saying, saying it, saying it. But now, you go to Haste. You go to BitChat. You go to, you, you open up Handcash, you use it. You send money to somebody. You use these different NFT platforms, crypto fights. You use this stuff. You see it in action. You see the Hololot trial where these other people are saying this stuff. It's different, right? It's the showing. This the people see it, not from the typical characters, from the ones who are biased and, frankly, bag holders. You're seeing it from other folks, from people who are new, more objective. And I'm telling you guys, that resonates with people. Um, the same way this trial spoke to folks and making them question, the same way that something like BitChat or the Haste Arcade with the monster bombs, the same way it does it, man. It just shows it. It's like, oh, man, this is cool. Yes, people are going to question the technicals and why someone would do chats on chain and all this stuff. Of course, people are going to ask questions, right? But... That's I've been saying this for a while that it that has we're done with the talk. We're done with the argument. There's no point in it anymore. I mean, words are win, right? And also the talk only gets you so far. We should know that from the past what eight years of this, of all the social engineering, all the discussion online. I mean, frankly, that's probably why we're here in the first place. This is why you have three separate chains. And you know, we see the what's going on with Kurt. I mean, I haven't, I didn't watch his live stream yet and know the particulars, but I know that they doxed all kinds of stuff about him. And, you know, we, we're smart enough to know what's right and wrong. Forget all this BTC, BSV stuff. That's just wrong. And you don't see us generally doing that type of stuff to other people, at least without, um, 
without cause, right? Uh, where the other party wasn't the offender. So, you know, Kurt hasn't committed any crimes. He hasn't done anything to anybody. He's just reporting the truth. And you see what they did, right? I mean, that should that should be a big signal to everybody. Um, again, and he even brought up the point I made. The score is 400 to 1, you know? What's what you're afraid of? Because in another game, it's exponentially a beatdown, right? In terms of transactions and usage, B BSV kicks the shit out of BSV. I mean, uh, BTC. The, you know, there's no comparison. I mean, in, in terms of usage, um, the technology, there's no comparison. Yeah, it's one is twenty thousand, the other is fifty dollars. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, the other point I wanted to make in this video is that. I was going to do a separate one, but I think it makes sense to merge it in here is the micropayment stuff. And, you know, the whole thing, it's hard to care about micropayments, especially on the business side, because when you're earning the revenue, yes, it feels good. But at the same time, you see, OK, 2000 sats, 2000 sats, 1000 sats, 600 sats. It's like, OK, but I got to pay employees. I got to pay server costs. I got to pay bills. I got to pay taxes. I got to pay all this stuff. Accountants, lawyers, you know, that's not going to really bring, you know, put bread on the table. The potential growth with this micropayment stuff and why it's so exciting to use these different apps, especially with hand cash, you know, they just put a tweet out. There's 30 apps in their gallery um, that the, we're talking probably 300 this time next year. Anyways, um, we because this is the unseen part and I've written about this. The potential growth is exponential because if I can earn 2000 sats on Haystarcade, from being sixth on one of the leaderboards, okay, that I've spent 20,000 sats a penny on, okay? Just imagine I played once, 20,000 sats, and now I'm earning 2,000 sats per time. Someone plays that 11 times, and I keep my spot. I just earned 22,000 sats. A chat on BitChat costs 20 sats. So now I can chat 1,000 times, right? If they add tipping or something, someone tips me five cents. Now I have a hundred thousand sats, and then I can go to somewhere like Windbell, and that's five bookmarks. Or I can go to, I mean, a number of these different sats. I can go to the prediction markets and place a two cent bet, and then I can go to TDXP and base a uh, place a three cent bet. I can go twenty x leverage on BTC with with two, three cents, <laughs> right? Because you get paid instantly, and this can all take space take place within a span of five minutes, ten minutes. Because the income is instant, this is something I think we're overlooking. It's the whole unseen concept in economics. You can go to these other places and spend it immediately, which means that as more people join and they realize this, and they realize they can try all these different things, the transaction volume can go through the roof. And we're talking very quickly because of this and that's why it's so important to have apps like BitChat. again i don't know if it's going to be successful long term i'm just saying it shows that you can interact and do something very novel for only 20 sats a thousandth of a cent right and that's powerful because as that income adds up now people are, okay now you got 50 cents okay and you can go to the upper tier on the haystar kit you can go to the micro tier which is a dime and now you can start earning more and then as that income rises and goes more, and then you're earning HST, which is a token that's worth 12,000 sats. And, you know, again, this stuff just, it just churns and churns and churns. And so th with that type of growth, if someone earns 2,000 sats and then they can, that, that money, even though it's only at that, at what, 2,000 sats is one tenth of a penny. But how much, how many different apps can you use with that 2,000 sats? And that's the question we need to be asking, and that's going to drive the usage. And as we know, with these um, speculative things, the speculation will come before the um, true price discovery, right? So, you know, that, that's what I wanted to say, man. Um, I, I hope folks kind of get what I'm saying there, is that's why it's so important to get more of these apps. And I can see the momentum, man. I mean, um, Again, you know, I sh why am I so positive when the price is just, it's been like that all year long? And, you know, I expect that to continue unless something else happens. You know, whatever that court ruling is coming in November, who knows, right? Um, hopefully before that. But 
yeah, so I just remember, man, I felt the same way in early 2019. It's the same thing. And here we are right here again. I think it was 100 bucks back in, uh, what, March or something or springtime. And here we are and we're about to be in October. And it's basically been at 50 for the last six months. So, um, you know, yeah, it's just interesting. It's just fascinating times. And again, and I see more people coming over to the chain. Just, you know, the tech speaks for itself. I saw this one artist. I mean, you guys know how I feel about the NFT stuff. but um, and it has to get more advanced, right? If people want to actually sell this stuff and then the supply needs to be low, but he's bringing this stuff from OpenSea to take it. And, you know, take it is a very interesting concept, very slick, uh, it's very controlled. And I think it's going to attract some people. So, you, you know, again, if someone's really engaging and I saw an NFT on there for uh, two point, it was a point zero two five BSV. I mean, you know, who cares at that point, right? It's not like I'm buying a $50 or $50 million JPEG. I mean, 2.5 2.5 million sats. You know, that's what? A dollar and 25 cents or something? Yeah. It's like, who ca no one cares about spending that much money, right? So, yeah, man. Um, and to support an artist who's actually put some effort in, I think that's reasonable. So, yeah, I mean, that's where we're at, man. Very exciting stuff. I look forward to more apps coming out. You'll see more stuff from me. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the, how this year ends in 2023. Like I said, man, there's 30 apps in that app gallery. I expect 300 this time next year. That's a prediction. All right, guys, let me know a feedback. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.